Hello and welcome back everyone. In this clip I will be going through Task 1 Movies Database. So let's get started then. To start off with what I would like you to do is use a suitable database package and I'm telling you here is access to import the file movie.csv and remember when you are importing it ensure that you choose the following date format day, month, year. Remember to change the field types when importing the CSV file to avoid import errors and then assign the following data types to the fields. As you can see here, I've got the following data types for these field names. So ensure that you get the correct ones or else you will have problems later down the line. So in the stock field, that needs to be a Boolean, which is yes or no. The format needs to be set as a text box. So when you are importing it, make sure where it says the field name in stock, you change it to yes and no. And then when you go into the design view, you set it as a text box. Each movie will have a unique number, so set the number as the primary key, which is the first field here, number, ensure that is set as the primary key. And if you look closely here, you will see that it has a key next to it. Once you've completed that, you will need to move on to task two, which is add the following records to your database. So the stock is going to be yes, the price is going to be 15, and the type is going to be DVD. And the name is going to be Shawshank Redemption. If you haven't watched this movie, it is one of the best movies out there. It's a drama, 1994, sold 25, rating R, duration 142 mins. Uh, meaning minutes, actors, Tim Robbins, Morgan Freeman. As you can see here, I've got an example of what it should look like. Once you've done that, move on to the other two uh, movies that you need to add, so which are Gladiator and Green Mile. So let's get started then. From the link below, you will be able to download the movies CSV file. Once you've downloaded this file, you will need to import it to access. So to get started, what you need to do is create a new access file. So right click, new Microsoft Access Database, give it a suitable name. I'm going to call mine Movies because it's based on movies. Once you've done that, select enter and then open up the file. When it does open up, you will be given a security warning. You will need to enable content. Those of you that have been given this warning, some of you may not. The next step will be to import the CSV file. Now to do this, you need to select the external data, new data source from file and select text file. Once you select text file, the get external data text file window will pop up. Here you need to browse for the file that we were just talking about, which is the movies CSV file. So select browse. When you've selected browse, you need to locate the file. Once you've located the file, select it and then click on open. Once you've done that, select OK. Just before you do select OK, ensure that you've selected import the source data into a new table in the current database and then select OK. Then select open and select next. Here we need to ensure that we select the first row contains the field names. Once you've ticked that, select next. On the next screen, you will need to select advanced and then go to date order. Ensure that your date order is in day, month, year. So DMY. It's very important that you select this option. If you do not select this option, then some of your data will be missing. So you will have import errors. Once you select it as day, month, year, you need to move down to field information. Here, you need to ensure that you've got the correct data types. So as per the requirements, we were asked to have long integer for the number. For the movie name, we were required to have text. In stock was yes or no, which is a Boolean. For the genre, we were asked to have text. Year was text. Type was text. Price needs to be changed to currency. Soul needs to be long integer. Ratings need to be text. Duration needs to be long integer. And actors need to be text. Once you've got the right data types for the fields, select OK. Once you're happy with that, select Next. 
As per the requirements, we were told that each movie will have a separate number, or should we say a unique number, so we need to set the number field as our primary key, so we do not need ID. So what we do here is choose my own primary key and ensure number is selected. So this will be now our primary key. Once you've done that, you need to select next and then select finish. Here you need to select close and then in the all access tab under the tables heading, you will see the movies table. Just double click on that to open it up and there you have it. You've successfully imported the movies CSV file. The next step will be to sort out the in stock data type. As you can see at the moment, we have minus one and zero. However, the value should be yes and no. So to do this, we need to go to the Homes tab, select View, Design View, and then select In Stock. Go to General, Format. As you can see, there's a little drop down, and then select Yes and No. Once you've done that, you need to go back to View. But before you do, remember we need to check if the number has been set as our primary key. So we're just going to select the number and as you can see here, is this our primary key? Yes, it is. So if you untick that, it disappears. It's not set as a, our primary key, but what we need to do is ensure that it is selected. And if you look closely enough, you will see a key. Once you're happy with the settings, you need to select view. And yes, we do want to save the table now. Select yes. And there you have it. We've successfully changed the values in the in stock field. Now it's time to add the three movies that we've been asked to add. So the first one we're going to add is the Shawshank Redemption. So to do this, you need to scroll all the way down in your database and go to the number column and enter the next number, which is 85. Once you've done that, you need to type in the movie name, Shawshank Redemption. And then type in yes, and it's drama. It was made in 1994, so it is a very old movie. It's a DVD, it's 15 pounds, 25 have been sold. It's an R rating and it is 142 minutes long. And the actors are Tim Robbins. And make sure you get the comma in and Morgan Freeman. Once you've done that, you can hit enter. There you have it, you've added your first movie successfully. Why don't you pause the video now and add the next two? This is what your database should look like once you've added the three new movies. So Shawshank Redemption, Gladiator, Green Mile, as you can see, they're all in stock. The drama, 1994, 2000, 1999, they're all on DVD and the cost is the same. However, the sold number of copies sold are different, the ratings are, and duration is different, and then the actors. If you can't see the fields uh, or the actors' names, what you can do is click between the actors and the click to add field. So if you double click, it should automatically adjust to allow you to see the whole data within that field. So the next step is now to create our first query and report what I am looking for here. So create a report for the following scenarios. Remember, before you create the report, you must create the query. So we need to create the following report. The title needs to be Channing Tatum Movies and show the following fields only. So movie name, genre, year, and actors. Show only the records which include actors. So show only Channing Tatum Movies. Use the wildcard search criteria. So year descending. Fits on a single page wide with the page orientation of portrait. Include a formula in the report footer to count the number of movies. Include an appropriate label. So let's get started and tackle the first uh, task. To create a query, what we need to do is go to the Create tab, select Query Wizard. A window should pop up here. We're creating a simple query wizard. Select OK, Open. And from here, we need to select the field. So as you can see, movie, name, genre, year, and actors. So movie name, just double click on it. The next one, genre. The next one's year. And the final one is actors. Once you've selected that, hit the next button. 
select next again and then give it a suitable name so we're going to call ours Shannon Tatum query and what we need to next is modify the query design because it's not complete as it says show only the records which include actors show only Channing Tatum movies and we need to use a wildcard search criteria in order to do this so select OK and then we need to go into the actors field and go across to criteria and to use the wildcard feature what we need to do is select shift and eight to bring the star up and then type in the name of the actor so let's type the name in and then close it with a star so shift and eight on your keyboard for those of you that are using a keyboard unless you're using voice recognition to help you with this the next step is to sort the year descending but before we do that what I would advise you to do is select run to see if the query actually works so hit run and you should only get movies with Channing Tatum in them so as you can see we're getting the correct movies here and the correct results what we should expect so once you're happy with that and you're getting what I'm getting you need to select view design view and then go to year descending so we need to sort it by year and then select descending hit run and as you can see now it is descending by year the next step will be to select save so right click save and then go back to create and then select report wizard so here we have as you can see form designs we've got report here uh, we've got report design blank report and then here we have report wizard so this will guide us through the process of creating a report so the available fields from our query are the following so we just need to add them to uh, so they appear on our report once you're happy with that select next here we do not want to add any grouping levels so just select next uh, you can sort the re records by up to four fields in either ascending or descending order we do not need to do that because we did do the descending by year when we were creating the query so just select next so we want the report in a tabular layout we want it to be portrait as per the requirements and we want the fields to be adjusted so all fields fit on a page and then select next here we were asked to include the title uh, Channing Tatum movies so I'm just going to change the query and then let's have a look at our report see if it comes out as it should so once you click fin select finish uh, the report should pop up however we've got some issues here as you can see we're in print preview and there's information missing off the report so what I'm going to do here is just close the print preview and then go to view layout view and as you can see this dotted line it shows that information will be cut off when printed so what I'm going to do is just move the fields across so as you can see I'm just moving the year across here for the year fields there's a quicker way of actually doing this by holding down the shift key and moving everything across so as you can see here everything is fitting on uh, one page which is portrait which I am happy with uh, the next step now would be to count the number of records and to do this we need to go to the designs tab and then select total so there's multiple ways of actually doing this you could do it in the layout view or the design view so I'm going to show you it in layout view so go to the design tab make sure you've selected the actors and then select totals and count records so as you can see here here is the value for our records which is seven the next step will be to add a label and to add the label I'm going to go to design view and then go to des the design tab select label and just create my label next to the total count and just type in total records once you're happy with that you can select view and there you have it you've successfully completed the first report in the panel on the left the query that you've created and the report should appear under the queries subheading and the report subheading 
Now we are going to move on to report three. The reason why I'm not going to go through report two is because it's similar to report one. So you should be able to do that yourself easily. So report three is asking us to show the following fields only, movie name, genre, year, duration and actors. So let's get the appropriate fields up first. So to do this, we need to select the create tab and then go to query wizard and then select OK. So the fields that we have been asked are movie name, genre, year, and duration, and actors. Once you've got the appropriate fields, select next, next again, and then give your report an appropriate name. So here it's telling us not horror movies. So not horror movies, query. Once you've done that, you need to select modify the query design and select finish. So here we are going to modify the query. So show only the records, movie name, genre, year, duration, and actors, which we've done. Now show only the records which include all genres apart from horror. So to do this, we need to go to genres and we need to type in not horrors. What this will do, it will return only movies that are not horror. So to check this, let's hit the run icon. And as you can see in the genre field, we have got action, adventure, comedy, crime, drama, fantasy, sci-fi, thriller, but not horror. Once you do get the results, you need to go back to the design view by selecting view, design view, and move on to the next part. So the next part is asking us to include movies later than or equal to 2012. So that's basically telling us only include movies that are 2012 or later. So we need to do the insert in the year field greater than or equal to 2012 not 2010, 2012, and then hit the run icon. And the results we should get are movies that have been made in the year 2012 or later. So 2013, 14, 15, 16, etc. Once you're happy with that, go back to the view panel and then select design view. The next part of the query is to ensure that all of the movies are DVDs. And as you can see, we do not have the DVDs field here and we cannot show it, but we can include it and then in untick it from show. So let's have a little scroll around and select type. So double click on type. I'm just going to close the panel here so you can see the field. And here we are going to insert DVD and then let's hit run. And the only movies that should be shown are the ones that are on DVD. Now we need to hide this field. If we don't hide the field, we will lose marks. So we go back to view, design view, and then untick the show box. Once you've done that, you're on the final part, which is that are in stock. And again, same problem here. We are not allowed to show this field. So let's include the field for now select yes in stock and then hit the run icon to just double check that all the, only the movies that are in stock appear and then go back to view design view and then untick in stock in the show row once you've done that you need to move on to the next part which is sort the reports out in the year descending so we need to go to year we need to go to sort and we need to select descending. Once you've done that, you need to select run again and just adjust the column width. So all the information is clearly visible and then have a quick look at the criteria and compare it to what you've got. You should have something that looks like mine. If you do, what you need to do next is just save your query and move on to the next part, which is ensure that your report fits on a single page wide with a page orientation of portrait. So to do this, we need to select create 
and go all the way to report wizard and insert all the fields and then select next 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 tabular portrait adjust the field width so all fields fit on a page select next and we're just going to change the report name so not horror movies so we need to get rid of query so just delete query and then preview your report so let's make the screen bigger here and see if we can clearly see everything as you can see under the actors we have some information missing so what we are going to do here is adjust uh, move everything to the left so close print preview and just adjust the columns so as you can see I'm just moving them across and just stretch that out slightly so it appears all the information appears once you've done that just go back to layout view Once you've done that and all the data is visible, then you're ready to move on to the next part. The final part of this task is to include a formula in the report footer to count the number of movies, include an appropriate label. So to do this, what we need to do is go to the Homes tab, select View, and then go down to Design View. Here we need to insert the an appropriate label and also count the number of movies so let's start off with counting the number of movies so I'm just going to select in under the details tab uh, the actors and then I'm going to select in the designs tab total and count records count records is going to count the total number of movies that we have once you've selected that the formula should automatically appear in the report footer which is where we have been asked to place it the next step will be to insert an appropriate label so to do this you need to just maximize your window and then select label and draw your label and then give it an appropriate name i'm going to call mine total movies once you've done that you can select view and just double check your report you've got the correct title and all the data is visible in your report and that you have the total movies label and the total number of movies if you have something that looks like mine then you have got a hundred percent on this task and also you will see in the queries you've got the not horror movies query and under reports you should have the not horror movies